Hey, today is March the 27th, and I'm sitting here <laughs> in a Walmart parking lot, and uh, I do have a mask. I wear my mask whenever I go in, and I sanitize and do all that, but I'm sitting here looking around, and there's confirmed cases where I live. I live in Stoddard County, Missouri, as of right now, there's only one, but I'm looking around, and I see very, very few people taking precautions. I mean, I don't understand. I don't know if it's the educational system to blame that people can't do fucking math, that they don't understand that they will spread it before they even realize that they're sick. I don't know if it's a moral dilemma that people don't value other people's lives and understand that they're infecting other people and possibly causing their death. So, I mean, in a, in a way, you're a murderer. And... You are contributing to the deaths of children, young children, elderly, and just your peers. I find it hard to believe that people are that selfish, but I see it. I see it right now. I mean, this Walmart parking lot is full. Uh, me and my wife, we've been taking precautions. We don't get out unless we have to. We really stay clean. We haven't been working. I mean, it's, it's a short sacrifice for the greater good of everybody. If all you people would take a fucking thought and go, I can stay home for, let's say, three weeks. Three weeks. That will let the infected that are infected be seen, known about, and you have a chance of stopping it. You can stop it. And these people are out just walking around with no protection and you know what I think you idiots deserve what you get I I think this is natural selection and you're fucking idiots <laughs> I just had a woman in a store that I went into talk to me because she was asking me if I had the coronavirus because I had my face mask on I said no and that's the point and uh, she goes I said I told her I said I think y'all are not too damn bright to be honest because you know it's here. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we know it's here. I mean, it was a woman and all this, and she worked at a factory, and this factory she works at is one of the biggest around here. And God, I mean, it's thousands of people work in this factory, and this woman was there, at, let's presume, a week because she was found out yesterday. It was confirmed yesterday, so she had at least three days, possibly some of the last week, that she was around other people, touching stuff, touching people, talking to people, you know. And you're, you're going to sit here and tell me that it's safe? Even though the virus may not be killing everyone, it's the fact of the matter is, do what's better for the community. Quit being selfish pricks. This is America, and you're supposed to be the greatest nation on the world, but you're just showing people how your arrogance and your stupidity rules this nation. Take care of yourself. Take care of people. You are harming the the economy by continuing to whine and bitch about, I ain't got no money. Well, stay the fuck home. Let this shit get over with, and then we will be done with it. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a hard time, but you're making shit worse, and I don't get it. It's simple math. Simple math. I'm just a hick from nowhere, and I... I'm smart enough to understand that this shit is for real. I can look on the news and go, oh, okay. I understand. But evidently, some of you people need somebody to let you know that this is bad. There are people dying all over the world from this. There are people around you that are going to start dying. And you're going to be a contributor of it. You need to ask yourself, is that something you can live with? And more than likely, from what I'm seeing, y'all will have no problem with it. I don't believe that y'all are right in the head. Wake up and start thinking about stuff. Quit being arrogant. There's no, there's nothing to gain from your arrogance. Not a thing. <laughs>